coming with the first group, uh, Brigham Young will select a Vanguard company. Brigham's plan initially was he wanted 144 men to be in the Vanguard company with the idea that it would be 12, 12, 12, kind of representing the 12 tribes of the House of Israel. And Brigham Young personally selected uh, who he wanted in that company. It's no surprise that he chose Orson Pratt. Uh, Orson Pratt had many assignments along the route uh, from looking at stars, uh, drawing out maps, uh, working with uh, the odometer that they're working, trying to get going, counting miles. Um, Orson Pratt at that time, it would not be a stretch to say he was Brigham Young's uh, right arm in the effort to go, as he was the detailed man wanting to make sure security uh, where you went from there. What's kind of interesting is that Orson Pratt at one point becomes a scout and he's told with Erastus Snow to go out five miles in advance. And as he would go out, then he would designate where they would stop. And uh, probably the most interesting is when they finally are reaching uh, the valley, they're up at, uh, well, where we'd say today, this is a place monument. Orson Pratt now looks over the valley. It's July 21st of 1847. As he looks over the valley, he can look, he can see this vision that Brigham Young had seen so long ago of huge mountains, the Ensign Peak, a large lake. Uh, he will take off his hat, he will do the Hosanna shout. Hosanna means God save us now, rush down on the valley floor, and Orson Pratt then becoming the first man to dedicate the valley and all that is seen to the Lord and to call it Zion.